Hello everyone, it's MJ. In today's video, we're gonna learn some expressions, um, English expressions of course, using Tiffany Young's interview videos. Um, in the previous video, you suggested some of the artists and one of them was Tiffany Young from Girls' Generation. So after getting your comments, I watched her interview videos and then I was like, honestly speaking, I was surprised because I thought I've been thinking she's cute, especially when she talks in Korean, you know? And I saw her, like, um, she was on one of the Korean TV shows, Running Man, before, like, um, a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. And it's been so long since I saw her on TV, but she still sounded so cute. That's what I thought. But when I was watching her videos talking in English, I felt she's so different. But, but just I loved the way she talked in English. And I think um, I also look a little bit different when I speak in English, personality-wise. And that's exactly what I felt when I saw her speaking in English. And she was, she looked like a totally different person to me. <laughs> I'm gonna show the clips once with English subtitles first and explain expressions. And then I'm gonna replay those clips again three times more with English and Korean subtitles. So I personally recommend that you just mimic the sounds to practice English. When I told my dad, he was so against it, um, especially because I had just lost my mother three years before that. If I think about it, no, I would not let my 15-year-old daughter leave on just a whim. What she said was, um, if I think about it, no, I wouldn't let my 15-year-old daughter leave on just a whim. On just a whim. So after she took the audition, she got an okay from SM Entertainment, and that was exactly when she was 15 years old. And then her dad actually didn't want her to go to Korea. So um, now, come to think of it, she feels the same as her dad. If she were in her dad's shoes, she wouldn't let her daughter leave on a whim. On a whim. So we're gonna take a look at the expression on a whim here. It means um, you can think of it as simply impulsively, impulsively. So you do something without thinking about it very seriously. You just do that impulsively. So in the case, you can use um, on a whim. When I told my dad, he was so against it, um, especially because I had just lost my mother three years before that. If I think about it, no, I would not let my 15-year-old daughter leave on just a whim. When I told my dad, he was so against it, um, especially because I had just lost my mother three years before that. If I think about it, no, I would not let my 15-year-old daughter leave on just a whim. When I told my dad, he was so against it, um, especially because I had just lost my mother three years before that. If I think about it, no, I would not let my 15-year-old daughter leave on just a whim. No matter where we are in the world, we are at, in such a wonderful time where it's not even about the language and it's just keeping us truly connected thanks to social media. I guess that's the positive side of it. And hopefully that will create more opportunities, not only for me, but for, I think, artists from all over the world. The reason why I picked this part uh, was because of the expression, not only, but also. Uh, but I thought it'd be great to shadow this part because of what she talked about. She was talking about social media. That was another reason why I chose this part. Um, so not only, but also, I guess uh, many of you already know this um, expression. So not only A, but also B, it means in addition to. In addition to but one thing that you need to know when you use this expression is that a and b they have to be the same um, word class you have to use the same part of speech so for example when you put an adjective in the position of a then you have to use uh, the same word class at b another adjective a and b they have to be the same grammatically so what she said was hopefully that will create more opportunities, not only for me, but for, I think, artists. Not only for me, but for artists, all right? No matter where we are in the world, we're at, in such a wonderful time where it's not even about the language and it's just keeping us truly connected thanks to social media. I guess that's the positive side of it. And hopefully that will 
create more opportunities, not only for me, but for, I think, artists from all over the world. No matter where we are in the world, we are at, in such a wonderful time where it's not even about the language and it's just keeping us truly connected thanks to social media. I guess that's the positive side of it. And hopefully that will create more opportunities, not only for me, but for, I think, artists from all over the world. No matter where we are in the world, we are at, in such a wonderful time where it's not even about the language and it's just keeping us truly connected thanks to social media. I guess that's the positive side of it. And hopefully that will create more opportunities, not only for me, but for, I think, artists from all over the world. Actually, Magnetic Moon and Run For Your Life. Those are the songs I wrote immediately after Showcase Tour earlier this year. I'm very excited what's gonna come to mind after the Magnetic Moon Tour. After the showcase tour, she got an inspiration, so she made two songs, Magnetic Moon and Run For Your Life. So now she's so excited about uh, what's gonna pop into her head after this Magnetic Moon tour. So she said, I'm very excited what's gonna come to mind after the Magnetic Moon tour. So come to mind, this is what we're gonna take a look at now. So come to mind, it means immediately or suddenly think of something. So um, I've seen a lot of people who use the expression like uh, come to my mind and including myself, I used to use this expression in that way, but it has to be come to mind without that possessive case my. So make sure that you just need to use this like come to mind, not come to my mind, all right? Actually, Magnetic Moon and Run For Your Life. Those are the songs I wrote immediately after Showcase Tour earlier this year. I'm very excited what's gonna come to mind after the Magnetic Moon Tour. Actually, Magnetic Moon and Run For Your Life. Those are the songs I wrote immediately after Showcase Tour earlier this year. I'm very excited what's gonna come to mind after the Magnetic Moon Tour. Actually, Magnetic Moon and Run For Your Life. Those are the songs I wrote immediately after Showcase Tour earlier this year. I'm very excited what's gonna come to mind after the Magnetic Moon Tour. Thank you for joining me. I had so much fun. When I saw this part, I thought it'd be good to explain the difference between fun and funny. Um, in this clip, fun was used as a noun, so you are not confused with funny here, but when it is used as an adjective, then a lot of people have mistakenly used these two words, fun and funny. So in this video, I'm going to briefly tell about the difference, but if you want to know more details on it, then please check the card here. Um, I posted it on my blog uh, way back then, so you can see uh, the detailed explanation. So, uh, funny, um, it means hilarious, humorous. So something uh, funny makes you laugh, uh, makes you smile because it's hilarious, because it's um, humorous, all right? But fun, it means enjoyable. So, for example, when you say someone is funny, so let's say someone is he here. So he's funny, it means he makes you laugh because he is hilarious, because he's humorous, all right? But when you say he is fun, it means you enjoy being with him. Thank you for joining me. I had so much fun. Thank you for joining me. I had so much fun. Thank you for joining me. I had so much fun. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.